What's up, YouTube? And today I'm back talking once again about Huawei. And boy, this whole thing really escalated quickly. A couple days ago, I made a video about the situation with Google pulling Android app compatibility for Huawei devices, basically urging Western consumers not to buy a Huawei device for the moment until we sort of know what the implications are. Obviously, the video kind of blew up a lot, which I didn't really expect it to do that well. And you can see we had a lot of you know people supported me getting out the news early and people who criticized me. That That's YouTube and I, it's fine, I don't care. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update because a lot of things have happened and boy, there's been some interesting news that's come out today. So first, let's uh, just kind of recap this a little bit. Go back to the very original story that I showed you from The Verge that happened on Sunday. Google basically pulled Huawei's Android license, which means no future platform updates, things like that, due to a restriction the US government placed them on, on a blocked trade list. And again, I don't really agree with them being placed on that trade list. I'm a fan of Huawei. I'm not trying to make this political. I'm just giving you the facts. Google had no choice, really, if they want to continue doing business in the US themselves, but to comply with the government regulations. Um, so in doing that, of course, that means that uh, you wouldn't get Android Q, for instance, on your Huawei P30 Pro, which I have here. Um, Google did make it very clear afterwards that you're still going to get uh, Google app support. You'll still be able to use all of your G apps on current Huawei devices. Now, since then, there's been quite a few other interesting updates, which are really important to be aware of. Yesterday, it was announced that the U.S. Commerce Department has given a temporary 90-day license um, to Google to work with Huawei to basically allow a transition period uh, for U.S. companies that are dependent on technologies that Huawei might develop. This basically means that Google can work with Huawei to issue any security updates and Android platform updates before August 19th. Now, the issue with this is, of course, Android Q is probably not gonna launch around August 19th. In fact, it makes sense that Android Q would launch in the second half of August, probably in the very last week, which is when the Android new platform releases come out the last few years. So this still puts Android Q in jeopardy, but it is good news, and it gives 90 days for Google and Huawei to work together on a solution, which they actually did talk about the fact that they are working on a solution with Google. Uh, that was this morning, XDA reported that Huawei is working closely with Google to figure out sort of what the overall implications of the ban are, and that they're trying to sort of figure out a way to work around this because Google really has no reason to block them. Now this is true. Google themselves as a company, right, they have no reason to block Huawei because Huawei sells tons of phones. They're a good ambassador for Android. I really don't think Google is trying to use this as a way to sell more Pixel phones, as some people mentioned in the comments section of the last video. That really doesn't make any sense at all for them to go out and do that, just because you know Pixel isn't a huge volume you know business for Google. They're much more on the software side of things. So obviously Google and Huawei still have some open channels of communication, which are great, and it appears that they're working on resolving the situation. Now, the final thing, which is a really big one, is this piece of news that broke this morning. Huawei is working on their own Android alternative, which is going to be coming this fall or early next year. And here's the big one with Android app compatibility. So this morning, a report came out, Huawei CEO um, Richard Yu talked to a Chinese publication saying that uh, basically Huawei has been developing their OS, which we already know they've been developing their own mobile OS. Uh, but the big thing is, the huge news here is that it can run on phones, tablets, computers, etc. And it does have Android app support out of the box. And that Android apps will be able to be recompiled to improve performance uh, on those devices with the new operating system. Now, obviously, this story is developing. There's a lot of questions we don't know. For instance, you know, what third-party developers would be on board to develop for this? Uh, one piece of news that came out um, that was talked about by The Verge is uh, that Huawei has been building the Play Store alternative in plain sight. Uh, this talks about how they've been pitching the idea of their app gallery. Um, the app gallery, which is right here on the Huawei P30 Pro, 
uh, that this is something they've been pitching to several developers, uh, asking them if they would develop, then this would be give them a sort of an inroad into um, Chinese sort of app markets. You'll see right there, you can see all the recommended apps that you have inside the app gallery. So, you know, it gives you some various things, and then, of course, you can go home, and it kind of looks exactly like the Play Store, um, but obviously you're missing a lot of official apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Not to say they couldn't work with those companies if the ban was not existing, but those are U.S. companies, so they would still be restricted uh, from working with Huawei themselves. But anyway, this does show that Huawei has been working on an alternative, and obviously um, they are prepared for this to happen if it does go through fully in the 90-day um, sort of temporary restriction lifting um, does not continue and that they don't get it resolved with Google, uh, they're ready to move forward with this. It just remains to be seen how much app support they have. I honestly hope that it does work for them. I mean, competition is always a great thing. I really hope that they get their Android license back myself because I don't want to see Huawei leave Android. Um, but I think that this is a possibility. They're a huge company. And if they could get some more app development on the side, um, they could still do really well in their own markets, it's still going to be tough in the uh, Western markets, in my opinion, just because of how much people rely on things like Google services out of the box. Yes, you could sideload them and do all of that, but regular consumers don't even know that kind of stuff exists. Anyway, guys, that is a quick look at the where the news stands right now. Um, obviously, people asking, can I recommend that you buy a Huawei phone right now? Uh, I still stand by my original statement which is that I would probably not buy a Huawei phone at the moment if you don't already have one, just because you want to wait and see how this plays out. I mean, this is a very expensive phone, 1000 bucks. if you're in the Western markets anyway. If you're in China, I mean, buy a Huawei phone. Huawei phones are great. I have no problem with them. Love the camera. But, you know, if you're in the Western market, you don't know if you're going to get support. I'd wait and see how this plays out and then make a decision. Uh, they make great hardware, so I hope it definitely gets worked out. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the update, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can also hit the uh, notification icon if you want to see future videos like this. Find me at Twitter and Instagram at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.